All right, what's up, y'all? As you can see, we got a big box. So took a couple people's advice. I already actually had this thing ordered, uh, but I agreed with a lot of people on the reviews, and we got the new welder in. I took the last welder back to Harbor Freight this past weekend and actually got burnt on that ordeal. So the restock fee they got me for 140 bucks, but instead of having to pay off 900 and something, I gave them 140 free dollars on a restock fee and said, screw it. It is what it is. You know, what do you do? Pay the 140 and go on about your business or keep the welder, pay them 900 and something. And then you got another welder on the way. So figured it's better in this situation to lose 140 bucks. So we did get the prime weld, TIG, MIG, stick, plasma cutters, multiprocessors. Pretty cool company. Uh, this is a TIG machine. Uh, I think it does stick also, but I don't care about anything but the TIG. Uh, so this guy should be amazing. We're not going to unpack it in this video, but we did get it in the mail. So this opens up a lot of doors for our future. However, we do have a ton of stuff going on. And I just wanted to give y'all a quick little video so I didn't leave anybody hanging and anybody that's actually following along with the channel that's actually an OG here knows what's going on. So tonight's Monday night. Uh, we leave out to go to Texas Wednesday night. I have to, I think I'm getting picked up at like midnight. We have to be at John's house at like 2 a.m. Me, Randy, and Donald. We're all in the Wilmington area. So we have to be up near Raleigh. 2 a.m., John's house, load up and head out. It's like a 17 hour drive on the GPS over to Texas where we need to be at. I think John says it's gonna be closer to 20 hours, probably with stops and hauling a trailer and all that such, all that such stuff, all that stuff, whatever, whatever the English is for that sentence. <laughs> um, uh, John and Miss Kelly, a uh, huge thanks to them. They were nice enough to rent us an RV and have all that. It's gonna be set up at the track for us. So huge shout out to them. Pretty cool, um, you know, it's gonna be a very, uh, a very cool opportunity to be able to go on this road trip with them and to do this once in a lifetime, you know, chance. Uh, with the whole locals, with Discovery Channel, you only get one chance. So locals only, John said you can only be picked one time. Uh, so he was picked at Galat, he won. So then they invite us to the championship round, basically of the locals only. So that's gonna be in Texas, that's all the locals Win only winners of the United States at anywhere they've raced at. It's all going to Texas to race for, I guess, the big championship is how I'm hearing it. But John said once you're on the show, once with Locals Only, that's it. You'll never be back on it again. So I'm super stoked, super thankful. Uh, John, if you see this video, I'm beyond grateful for all the opportunities that you have gave me over the past couple of years um, and just the doors that you have opened uh, to allow my life to grow into what it is now, uh, for sure, without John, Randy, um, the two main ones, and you know everybody else as part of the crew, uh, the friendships have been great, but John and Randy alone has opened up a lot of opportunities to me, introduced me to a lot of people that's got me where I'm at today. So big, big, big thank you for that. Um, however, this is gonna put a dampening on my channel. Um, we don't have a ton going on. Um, I don't have, the rear end, as you can see, it's gone again. So Mike does have that. Um, I think he's probably gonna be finished with that this week. However, with me going to bed early Wednesday afternoon, I have to be up at midnight. So probably gonna try to get to bed like eight or so. We're not, we're just, it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna make no progress on the rear end this week. Uh, it's Monday night. I'm not messing out here. I'm messing around out here. I'm gonna hang out with a wife. Tuesday night, I'm gonna hang out with a wife. I'm not working in the garage because then I'm gonna be gone Wednesday night. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I don't know when we're getting back, if it's going to be the morning hours of Monday or Monday night, I don't know yet. Um, however, I'm going to be gone for a while, so I'm not fiddle farting in this garage this week, um, but I'm shooting for having the car back together for Randy's grudge race. So Randy will be at 710 the Sunday after we get back, Saturday after we get back. John will be, let's see here, Randy's the 19th. John should be the 18th, I think, Darlington, back at the track. Um, uh, we will be there doing no prep with his car, so we're racing in Texas if everything goes smooth. And literally, as soon as we get back, we got that week, and then bam, right back at it uh, that Saturday. Uh, when I get the rear end back, so when I get back that week, I would love to take a test on Thursday night at Galat. 
uh, th that Thursday night will be the last test sessions. However, I'm still going to have to paint the rear end, do the brake lines, uh, set up the gear, uh, put it all together, assemble the car, um, set the bar angles up in the car. So it's just simply not happening for Thursday night at all. Friday, I'll be off work at 11 o'clock. So I'm hoping that we can have this bad boy together and take this thing to 710 on the 19th. Uh, when Randy's running his grudge race and hopefully we could uh, get some passes on this thing on the 19th is the plan as of right now. Now past that, I don't know when the next event will be for this car being I kind of tag along behind Randy and I tested his events because John does a lot of back of the track. If John does front of the track, I'll test there. But besides that, radial racing starts to slow down. So Randy's racing will start to slow down, meaning my test sessions will start to close to slow down. Galat is our closest track. They're gonna be closing for testing tunes for the, entering into Thanksgiving and the winter months. Um, so I don't know how many more we'll be able to squeeze in with this thing, but I promise y'all we're gonna squeeze as much as possible in and see if our uh, homemade belt alignment if that got us anywhere and to see if we can actually run some good passes on the rear end before the winter time comes. And this is what my life currently looks like. It is a train wreck of stuff um, out here. We got some stuff in the mail real fast. Just figured I'd show y'all some of this, uh, some of this stuff. We did order these nice uh, billet, solid, solid machine pieces. Uh, these are spacers, three quarters of an inch spacer. So I'm not happy with 100% how the wheels sit under the car. I do have another set of rims that I bought used that we're probably going to get beadlocked by McFab and do some paint work on them. So that will be coming to the channel. Stay tuned if you want to know how to paint your wheels and make a busted looking set completely nice. I already have the wheels, but we are figuring on the backspace of that wheel and that wheel right there that we want to move them out a little on a new setup. So that could be coming here in the future. Uh, a lot of this stuff is for the future, but I figured I'd go ahead and show it to y'all. Then we ordered... Some stuff from them let's see here what is this i don't know i have no clue what that is maybe i don't know let's see here uh got another backup sensor i, I just literally just had a deal on this where i needed to spend some money uh to get like 20 bucks off so i ordered another sensor uh, sensor and then what is this i don't know um yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. So, we got some stuff uh, coming here in the future. So, definitely make sure you stay tuned. I have like a lot, a lot of stuff, of emails. I'm getting a lot of emails daily right now uh, saying your item has shipped, your item's out for delivery, your item has shipped. Especially today, it's like the phone was going off with all these little small packages and the welder and everything. Uh, but it's, we have a lot of stuff in route, so make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, because I promise you, I promise you, you're going to want to be a part of this journey. Um, smash that notification button, that will make sure you don't miss anything, and I think we're going to start throwing some live chats in randomly, um, so you'll want to definitely make sure you um, are notified every single time we go live. And then let's see here, John's video that he did at JJ's race. At the end of the video, he was talking about something. Um, he put the camera on me and he was asking me something. I don't, I don't know what he's even talking about, but you might want to, you might want to turn on the notification button. Uh, we got a lot of big things coming, so uh, a lot of exciting, exciting news coming. And I got, I got something, I got something. It's gonna be should be up in the mountains of like North Carolina that we've got to figure out how to go get. Currently it's a couple states away. So uh, we're going to try to get it to the mountains of North Carolina and then make the trip to grab that. Um, that was, that was a, that, that was a pretty big deal. So yeah, besides that, y'all, y'all bear with me while I go help Mr. John out. And while we travel, uh, hope, hopefully he can go rounds and do good. I'd love to see him clean house and win this thing. Um, but there just ain't simply going to be, I, I'm, there's not going to really be much on this channel. So go ahead and take the time to jump back and let's watch some of the old playlists. Uh, also check out paint and paper, uh, paint, paper, hustle.com. 
okay? I'm organizing playlists on there. There's a, there's a tab on that website uh, that's gonna make you easily find playlists that you might be interested in. Way easier than YouTube, and you could just click the playlist and then it will shoot you straight to YouTube. And you could take this downtime uh, and over Thanksgiving and stuff like that to uh, go back and catch up on some maybe stuff you didn't um, you didn't catch. So I think we've posted, I think we've posted like over 600 videos. I think I'm climbing towards like 650 videos on YouTube, I think. Um, this car alone has its own playlist that is a monster. Uh, didn't get this build from the start, but we got it pretty rel relatively close to when things started getting serious. So go check out this playlist. Go check out some of our other builds. Uh, we did some crazy stuff. The Chicago Grudge car is an excellent full paint and body series uh, on a grudge car. Uh, if you look for the Turbo John Racing Crew playlist, um, that is the full redo on Randy's car. That takes Randy's car from when it was black and wrecked all the way to what it is now pretty much. Um, so check out that over the holidays and um, basically just stick around because we got a lot of stuff coming to y'all in the future. So thanks y'all for everything you do. Good luck to John and I will catch y'all here very soon.